Hello students, how are you? Today we will solve FSC chapter number 3 exercise 3.5 first year uh, and its first question we have to solve it by Kramer's rule we have three equations here first is 2x plus 2y plus z is equal to 3 the second equation is 3x plus minus 2y minus 2z is equal to 1 and the third equation is 5x plus 5x plus y minus 3z is equal to 2 and we have to solve it by Kramer's rule to solve the matrices by Kramer's rule first of all we have to find the determinant of all of these equations so let's start first of all we will take the determinant of all of the constants of these three equations in the right hand in the left hand side of these equations let's suppose here is 2 the constant of first equation for the first variable for the second variable is plus 2 and for the third variable here is 1 because only z so we can take 1 as a variable in the second equation first variable is 3x so we will take only 3 as a constant here is minus 2 we will take minus 2 and here minus 2 for the third equation first variable is 5 second one is only 1 the third one is minus 3 we know in uh, equation uh, sorry exercise number 3.3 .3, that how to take the determinant of the matrix 3 by 3 matrix the first coefficient is 2 so we take it as it is and we leave first row and first column and except these two row and columns here are only four entries so we will multiply in such a way multiply this two minus 2 and minus 3 which is plus 6 and minus 1 and minus 2 is minus 2 minus again for the second entry is 2 we will leave first row and second column and except these two rows and columns we have only these four entries so here we will multiply this 3 by this 3 and this 5 by minus 2 so it's 3 by 3 is 9 minus 9 minus 10 plus 1 for the third entry leave first row and third column we have only four entries there so we will multiply 3 by 1 and 5 by minus 2 we can get 3 minus minus 10 now after solving it will become 8 minus 2 it will become plus 1 plus 1 into 7 uh, sorry 13 16 minus 2 plus 13 will be equal to by solving it will become a 16 minus 2 is 14 plus 13 is 27 the total one is so I terminate of uh, all of these equations is 27 so first of all we will find out the first variable and after that we will find the second variable then third variable here the first variable is x the second one is y and third one is z in some cases we have different variables like x1 x2 and x3 but here in this question we have x y and z three variables so to find out the value of x first variable will be equal to a1 over a determinant will be equal to a determinant over a the a1 determinant we represent that we are talking about for the first variable if we write here a2 determinant then it means that we are talking about second variable and for a3 is a third variable so when we will calculate for a1 we will use it a1 determinant will be equal to determinant of all of these equations but be remember that for a1 for the first variable we will write here instead of first column when we are talking about a1 for the first variable we will write this first column not as it is but we use the right side of all of these equations which is 3 1 and 2 and both of these columns second and third one will remain same 2 minus 2 and 1 here 1 minus 2 and minus 3 now let's calculate 
as we calculate in the previous case three and now we will leave first row and first column we have only for these entries we will multiply together minus 2 and minus 3 is 6 plus 6 minus minus 2 minus 2 for the second entry minus 3 here minus minus plus 4 and plus 1 1 and plus 4 2 and 2 is equal to minus 4 is but here we have minus sign so when this multi minus sign will multiply the minus sign it will become plus 4 3 into 8 minus 2 into 1 plus 1 into 5 is equal to so 22 plus 5 27 so a1 is equal to 27 and we know that for the first variable x is equal to a1 over a the value of a1 is equal to 27 and we know that the determinant of a is equal to 27 so both of these will cancel out so our result is plus 1 the first variable x, x is equal to and now we want to find out the value of second variable which is y and this will be equal to a2 determinant over a determinant and here we are talking about a2 determinant so here we will use the value of this matrix this color matrix here we can say that this is b matrix like this b is equal to 3 1 and 2 so we will use this matrix all the right sides of all of these equations will become the our b matrix so for the a2 matrix a2 determinant we will use here in the second column as b as we use it in the first determinant so the value of a2 determinant will be equal to we know we will use the first column as it is which is 2 3 and 5 and the second matrix second column is 2 minus 2 and 1 and we will not use, not use this one we will use the matrix b which is 3 1 and 2 and the third column will be as it is now after solving this determinant 2 as it is and minus 3 minus 4 for the second entry minus 3 into minus 9 minus 5 2s are 10 plus 1 for the third entry multiply these two entries 3 2s are 6 minus 5 and now we have 2 minus 7 minus 3 is plus 10 and 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 and 6 minus 5 is 1 14 minus 3 plus 1 which will be equal to 16 the value of a2 here I have little mistake here is minus 4 because 2 multiplied by 2 is minus 4 because of this minus sign so it will become plus 4 and 1 we will write here 1 plus 1 and when we will multiply by 2 it becomes plus 2 so a2 determinate will be equal to 2 ones are 2 minus 3 plus 1 will be equal to 0 the value of a2 is equal to 0 and we can say that y is equal to a2 determinant over a determinant is equal to 0 over 27 will be equal to 0 so y is equal to 0 in this case now we will find out uh, try to find out the value of third variable which is z variable when we start to find the first variable x we didn't use the first column in the matrix a we replace it with the matrix b to find out the second mat uh, second element or second variable y we replace the second column of matrix a with the matrix b 
and now we are trying to find our third variable which is z variable so here we will replace our third column of matrix a with matrix b so we will use here for the third column as matrix b so let's start to find out the value of z which is a3 matrix over a a3 terminant will be equal to 2 2 3 minus 2 5 and 1 and these two columns are the same as we have in the matrix a but to find out the third variable we will replace our third column with matrix b here we will not write 1 minus 2 minus 3 we will use here 3 1 and 2 3 1 and 2 now after solving this determinate as we did in the before previous cases 2 2 2's are 4 minus 1 minus 2 3 2's are 6 minus 5 plus 3 3 and minus 10 will be equal to 2 minus 5 minus 2 and 1 plus 3 and minus minus plus is 13 minus 10 minus 2 plus 39 minus 12 plus 39 will be equal to 27 so the value of a3 is equal to 27 and the value of third variable z will be equal to a3 terminate over a determinate 27 over 27 because the value of a3 is 27 and the value of a determinate is also 27 so cancelling we can get 1 here we know that the value of x1 x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 and we don't know that our values are right or wrong so we can check all our values that the answer of our question is right or wrong I will tell you how to check our question here we have our question and answer so we want to check that our answer is right or wrong for this purpose we will substitute our answer in our question to get the result we can use all of these three equations or any one of these three equations it depends on us so first of all we'll take first equation which is 2x the value of x is 1 plus 2 the value of y is 0 plus z the value of z is 1 is equal to 3 so when we will solve this left side must be equal to right side so let's solve it's 2 plus 0 plus 1 and we know that 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so it means that our answer is right if we substitute these values in any one of these equations and after solving these equations they are not equal to each other the left side is not equal to the right side then it means that our answer is wrong also you can understand it well we'll meet in the next video goodbye